Okay. Now we want to talk a little bit about this world and uh, the oneness with God and what we that we are not one with God. Um, so, could you tell us about this problem that that we need to be connected to the divine? Yeah. yeah. Um, I think yeah, we, we have talked about a lot of horrible things like in, in, in the last uh, half an hour about yeah. that we are food for the evil and the darkness, that there is uh, sat satanism on this planet, that there are sat satanic ritual views, that there's, I mean, that we are actually totally captured by the evil and the darkness on this planet. Yeah. That is now a very nice uh, subject. But that is only because we are separated from the source. We are separated from God. Our consciousness is not one with God. It's separated from it. And because this consciousness is separated from the source, from God, the evil and the darkness have taken influence on us. Yes, yeah? and they feed on us. And that's how yeah. they feed on us. Yeah. But when the separation is not there anymore, when we become one, when we become enlightened, when we become awakened, when the consciousness, intentionally consciousness, become one with God, then this evil and this darkness have nothing to feed on anymore. Yes. And that's this actually what everybody should do, work on for himself to get out of this whole world of evil and darkness. Yes. Is do your, the, the best you can to raise your vibration, raise your consciousness, be one with God, oneness with the source. So you think we are reincarnated if we are not, when we die, if we're not connected to the source, exactly. we will be reincarnated. Exactly. And um, <coughs> you talked about several astral planes or something, several worlds, that this is one world and the other ones are not at least as we know, are not material. This is the material world. Yes. And it seems that this world is... Uh, could it be that evil forces has constructed this world, you think? I think so, yes. 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 I think so. And I'm not the only one. I want to refer to the Gnostic, the Gnostic text, very ancient text from 2000, 3000 years ago. It's called Gnosticism, Gnostics. You can read that everywhere. They say this world is created by evil and darkness. And okay. that the evil and darkness is feeding us. So I don't have these ideas for myself. It's coming out of very ancient text. And but they're, st uh, they're still uh, very accurate. You can find them there. You can find them in the Nohamadi, for example, the Nohamadi text. Uh, the Evangelie from Maria. Well, there's many texts found in the Hamadi, and there you find all these Gnostic uh, ideas in, in, in back. And that ones say that this world is created by evil and darkness to feed on us. So, you <coughs> because you think that we have a physical body, of course, but you also think that we have a, a spiritual. We have a spirit in it. We yeah, are a spirit. Energy, oh, energy body, uh, yeah, spiritual okay. body also, yes. Yes. yes, and <coughs> it could be that this spiritual body that we have were put on this world so, so evil forces could feed on us. That is a possibility, you think? And we Might be. Yeah, and okay, okay. Maybe... Um, and when we die, <coughs> you think that if we have reached such high vibration, consciousness with God, then, then we can actually escape this world. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's exactly how it is. How how can you do? It? What should a, a normal person do to reach this? What do you start with? Do you start with meditation? Yeah. Meditation. Yeah, meditation. Twin heart meditation. One that you are already done for, but twin heart meditation from the pranic healing. There is the oneness diksha blessings from the oneness university. That's also an organization everywhere in the world right now. Also trying to bring people to, to oneness. Um, yeah, you can do ayahuasca, of course, to raise your vibration. There's many, many things you can do. Hmm. Okay. As long as the goal is oneness with God. Is it hard to do this? I mean, 
I can't really meditate properly, I think. I mean, I have to practice a lot. Yeah, but you can buy the CD from the Twin Hearts Meditation tomorrow. And practice? And practice every day. Or, or every evening or three times a week. You just listen to the CD and you do the meditation. More is there not to do. You just follow what they say. Yeah. And then already you de develop the crown chakra, you develop the heart chakra, and there's coming a lot of energy here. And uh, to have a connection with God, you need a, a strong crown chakra. So okay. that is already something what you can do. Mm. Okay. And we also talked about the we talked about this matrix connection, that matrix are really, yeah. really... Uh, and you s said also that many of these authors of movies, they really know a lot. Yes. And uh, that is amazing, because s s some of the things that we talked about, that humans are used as a battery, yes. just that they feed yes. on us, that's very interesting. Yes. And also that you said we have connections to the in all our chakras. Yes. This woman, she yeah. had it at least, yeah. but that may be just yeah. be an experiment. Yeah. Um. Uh, there is a, is a lot going on, uh, <laughs> what we don't know, and what this elite don't want us to know. Yes. And what they definitely not want us to know is how to connect with God, because that, that then the game is over. So yeah. they make already long time spirituality, alternative medicines, it's all not done. Huh? Yes. They all don't want us to do it. And what they do is to bombard, bombard everybody every day with this horrible television program. Yes. The lowest yes. of the lowest, what keeps your consciousness really like, mm. yes. if you watch the television, it's only fighting, quarreling, very, very low level consciousness yes. programs. I never see anything that yes. raise your consciousness on a stage. That is yes. how they manipulate exactly. you. That they is they how don't they have anything to raise your consciousness. Nothing. Nothing. And, and it could yeah. be different because yeah. you can also, instead of putting children from, from three, four years old before Ninja Turtles where everybody is shooting, eh, you can also put them in front of a child Buddha learning how to meditate. Yeah. But of course that doesn't <laughs> happen. Why don't no, you see, nee, but why don't why not? Yeah. yeah. Why don't let you see your children a beautiful, really, you know, child Buddha which has really high consciousness and already let give him this energy through this television to these children, learning them how to meditate, learning them how to develop the crown chakra. Why don't we raise our children yeah. in that, in that way? Should, yeah. Yeah, but it, it because it, they yeah. don't want that. Yes, it's the very last obvious. thing they want is that we yeah. develop our consciousness, that we develop our God consciousness, because then their game is over. Yes, yeah. yes, and that's what I mean. That, that's I see a great future because of the internet and stuff. We can do this. I mean, it's not that hard. I mean, we just. But people are sleeping really, <sighs> really hard, and it's it's amazing. But. After I woke up, I woke up after the 9-11, uh, when I understood that was an inside job, I understood that, oh shit, they're lying to me all the time. But now, when I studied a couple of years, and uh, I see the news, it's like so ridiculous. Yeah. All the news are just yeah. like bullshit, yeah. and it's amazing, it's really amazing. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. yeah. And it could be different. I mean, if... If everybody wanted it, then, then the consciousness of people would be sky high, yeah? All the yeah. time, television, spiritual masters, mantra singing, meditation, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it could be yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah, yeah, it could be possible. But yeah. they use this television as an instrument to keep the consciousness as low as possible. So yes. I recommend everybody not to watch it. Yes, of course. <laughs> the only way I watch television is movies. I like great Me movies. Too. But... Uh, the only way I watch new the news is to see what's on right now. Yeah. I don't want I yeah. don't watch it for the truth. I just want right. to see what's on, what's happening in the world, and then I go out on the internet and try to find out what real people what are saying that's about it. That's, so. <coughs> that's oh, that's really great. Yeah. Uh, so you think every person can reach this, or do you think that you have to incarnate sometimes and then maybe? Now the problem is that we have been incarnating I don't know already how many times. And if yeah. you don't get it now, I mean, whenever are you going to get it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I will. How many times do you want to incarnate? You better do it now. 
Yes, you shouldn't take the risk. <laughs> oh, oh, maybe that was not what you meant. Yeah, also, because you never know what your next life will be. Maybe you are in circumstances that you that you're not even able to do it. That you're not that you cannot read or write. Uh, uh, that you live somewhere in I don't know what kind of poor poor country. You have no, you have not even internet. You have no books. You cannot read or write. Yeah, how how are you going to involve yourself then? Yes. Or you you are born in a in a slum somewhere in Rio de Janeiro. Yes, you also will not hard, come yeah. very far. Yeah. Yeah. This this I mean if I would say if you are you know in a good shape and you have you know some money and you have the capabilities and uh, mental capabilities to do it, do it now. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So probably all people that have listened to this interview <laughs> are capable of doing it. Probably because it's not exactly. many people that. We look at these kind of re um, interviews. Um, so, what do you think happens when a child is born, and and how do the spirit come into the child? I mean, do you have any thoughts about that? Um, because uh, how come there are, if the human population grows, yeah. for example, yeah. how come there gets more spirits? This I find also another another thing which is very tricky and which I also not understand. If it's really true that there are coming all the time more spirits, or that it's maybe true that there are a lot of unspirited persons. Yes, spirits. or maybe there's an excess of spirits. Nay, I think it's the other way around. I think it's. Uh, uh, People without a spirit. People without spirit. How it's do it's I know I don't ha if I don't have a spirit? Now, yeah, usually the people that are interested in this kind of things have spirits. <laughs> and yes, but I'm more, I'm very scientific. Yeah, so but still, you're interested in this kind of thing. But I, what I have understand is that what the, that they are creating this like, I don't want to call it a robot, but almost a robot, but then human beings, but without a, without soul. Very mm. easy to manipulate. I think that are. Okay. Yeah, because God is not sending new souls to this world because He don't like this world at all. No, <laughs> no, okay, okay, yeah. Um, but why isn't He capable of uh, destroying this world and releasing us? Now, if that was possible, it would have been already done like a uh, couple of thousands of years ago. It's very difficult to uh, to liberate people. Very difficult. Mm. They really want to do this already a long, long time. And yeah, because they're so taken over by the darkness and the evil, and they're so separated, and not yes. one with God, it seems to be impossible to liberate us. We have to want to be re liberated ourselves, I guess. Number one. Yeah. First you have to understand that you need to be liberated. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> then how? Then that you have to become one, God consciousness. Yeah. As long as people think that everything is fine, for my drive will duren. Yeah. I don't know what that means, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. that means that they're never going to make it. Nee. Yeah. 